work and she's on the contained side? She, I am in the quarantine side, quarantine. yes. And her name is Jana. And she, well, she's a data recovery specialist. She grew up in group homes, and she does. She's made a pretty good life for herself, but she a little bit plagued by her her demons and her rough childhood. So she keeps people at arm's length, including her boyfriend, Lex, to some degree. And uh, how much do you want to know? And her boyfriend who happens to be <laughs> who happens to be Lex. He is the police major, and he's played by David Jesse. He's outside of the quarantine, and you know we're supposed to move in together, you know, and and I. I She's packing in the movie van, and she, Janet, starts to have a little bit of a panic attack as she's about to, to change. Because change is really hard for her, you know, especially with the home and the family. Life. And so she has a panic attack, they get in a fight, and then she changes her mind at the last minute when it's too late, right as they're about to quarantine and she gets stuck inside. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean for the relationship? How is that going to Yeah, we're gonna have to find that out. I think you know that's what happens to these families, these lovers and friends, they get torn apart and it's about them trying to find their way back to each other. Also how to survive on the inside so that they can get back to their, their loved ones or maybe their loved ones are safe for what's inside while the local government and the federal officials are trying to find a cure for this. So yeah, it's a ride that we're all going to have to take. I don't know. Um, you know, but hopefully, which I have a lot of faith in the, in the showrunners and the writers, that they will pull on your heartstrings and also make you laugh and cry and root for us. What, what are you hoping for for your character? I hope. I hope. I, I think with the, the, the arc, the just the, what I'm getting from the conversation that I have had is that she goes from keeping people like this safe for her to having to show up for people to take care of them and being a little bit of a reluctant hero, so to speak. And so I really hope that she can overcome her fears of intimacy and, and do that and to create the family that she's always wanted to create and then get out of the quarantine, get with Lex, marry lots of babies and dogs <laughs> in the garden. Did you watch the show that this is based on? I did on? not. I just watched the pilot just to get the feel, mm -hmm. the tone, but I, I don't want to know. I don't you, you said that she does data recovery, is that right? So what kind of data is she working with? Is it to do with the virus at all? And the it has people? nothing to do with the virus. Oh, okay. it's, yeah, it's just, it's just computers, it's motherboards, all that, you know, okay. that whole thing. Yeah. It would have been interesting if she about. learned. <laughs> <laughs> but I will learn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how was the experience of shooting the pilot, actually? It was amazing. Yeah, yeah it was super energized and fun because everyone loves working with Julie Plus. Right. And then and David Nutter. And so the people who've worked with him before were super excited to work with him again and those who have always wanted to were really excited. So there's just beautiful, positive, vibrant energy going on and he worked so fast and so thorough. And um, yeah, it was just it was the best experience I've ever had. And then we have dance parties in between, which is really nice. We both have to look to dance. <laughs> so we work, we dance, we eat. It's awesome. Yeah, Atlanta has great food, and I love to eat. Yeah. What relationships for you inside the container? Like, how did, are there people familiar with you and your character? There is one right now. Her name is Susie. She's my best friend, and we also grew up. I, I refer to I a lot when I talk to my character because it's just how I work. With her, so, <laughs> but um, so yeah, Janet and Susie grew up together. So they and they work together. So she's someone who she kind of allows into her heart and space. But that's that's it. You know, she's friendly with the people she works with, but that's her best friend. That's someone she trusts. And so I think um, right now she, she survives alone and then eventually people come in that she ends up having to, to take care of in a way and get where they're going with this. Has there been much conversation about what comes next for you guys after the pilot? Or, you know? No, I don't. I'm excited. I'm so, I can't wait. <laughs> I think the theme is just survive. Survive. Right? Survival is the theme. Yeah, survive. Who do we become when we're faced with our survival and our survival is the kind of us?
And is there um, any message you have for the viewers as they get ready to watch what should be a very stressful show? <laughs> stressful every time, it's funny. I heard it comedy it's a comedy for the whole family. <laughs> um, any... what, what would be your message for the viewers as they get ready to watch the first episode? Buy lots of Perel. <laughs> Um, don't become a hypochondriac because, you know, no, I, because reading the script, you know, you look at people who are coughing or sneezing and, um, just, <laughs> six feet knees. I would say, uh, have fun, I don't, enjoy, take the ride with us, and thank you, thank you, that's my biggest thing. And then if you do, stay home. Don't go outside. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Does this make you think more about this type of, this yeah. Type of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think we, you know, we hear about it in Africa or some other countries, you know, and we have we're touched by it or we're freaked out by it, you know, but then we can kind of put it away. So the fact that it's right here on our soil in our everyday, you know, big bustling city, that definitely, I think, you know, causes us to slow down. And that's what I love about the show. I love about that concept. It forces us to actually deal with something that is very real that can happen. And, uh, yeah, you know, we just, we don't think, I never think about, like, I touched that. You know, and then I go and like, you know, I touch my face, or I cough, and then I make shake someone's hand, you know, and it's so easy. And that's what's so scary is that it's our humanity, it's just our every day, you know, and like our contact and we just don't even think, see, I'm scratching. That could have been but, you know, and I, <laughs> that's what's really frightening about this. It's equally um, pleasurable in a very scary kind of you know. Do you think the, the the scare over something like that versus balancing balanced versus relationship between the, the characters? Is there any idea what it's going to be like? You see, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the show is about relationships with people. Uh, also, there's a scare. Do you have any idea about the balance that's going to get? Um, no, but I think they're just going to be constantly side by side, which is what's going to to strengthen the viewers, hopefully, and our, you know, as we're playing these people, telling these stories, is that it's like a race against time, and, and also kind of gets us to slow down a little bit and to remember what we really appreciate and what we value and how we sometimes take that for granted and, and puts into perspective what's important, I think. So I think it's just going to be that, that constant play. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>